yesterday when I was getting ready for Easter dinner, I put up a video of the makeup I was wearing and asked you guys if you'd like a tutorial on it. And a large majority of you said yes, so this is that tutorial. Now a lot of you did ask about a hair tutorial. Now I did cut and highlight my hair myself, so I can do a video telling you exactly how I did that. I don't really want to get into hair tutorial hair tutorials because I'm not a professional hairdresser and I don't consider myself an expert at hair. But what I can do, like I said, is the video showing you how I did what I did. And I can also do videos of showing you how I curl it when I curl it, when I do it so it's kind of Farrah-ish, or how I do it when it's like this, or, you know, basically give me your input. But I'd be happy to show you how I do my hair and if you have a similar cut, then it might give you ideas. For the tutorial for the makeup, if you wanna learn how to do it, keep watching and I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply a base. I'm going to use NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil and I'm going to apply it with a brush. So now I'm just going to blend that with a fingertip. Next thing I'm going to do is apply a white and I'm going to use this white right here from Oraline Beauty. And I'm just going to apply that in my inner, inner corner like this. Now that we've got that on, I want to apply Lapis by Prestige and it is like a um, shimmery blue color. It looks like this. It's just a very pale shimmery blue, kind of like a denim blue almost, I think. Faded denim, I guess. I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lid. Now I'm just going to go into my 88 matte palette and I'm going to choose that shade right there which is a purpley pinky color. And I'm just applying that into the outer corner. And blending it with the blue. Now I'm just gonna do my outer V and the very um, inside of my crease. And usually I do my actual crease color before I do my outer V or anything like that, but you'll see why I'm doing it this way in a couple seconds. And I'm going to choose the black shade down in the bottom corner here. And with that, I am just going into my outer V very slightly. You don't want a big outer V with this look because you don't want to be, um, you don't want it to go all dramatic and you're going right up into your crease and bringing this black right around. And then I'm just going to take a blending brush like this one and I'm just going to blend that a little bit. And I forgot to point out before, what we did by um, using a matte color on the inside of our lid and a matte color on the outer corner and then a shimmer color in the center has made our eyes appear more rounder and more three-dimensional and we've also made the center of our lid look a little bit shiny because we've used a shimmery color there. Next I'm going to use Ben Nye's Azalea in my crease. And You know to be honest I probably have this exact same color in my 88 palette. The only reason I'm using it is because I want to use it up because I never hardly use it. I saw it and I wanted it and I knew it was more expensive than what I'm usually willing to spend but I bought it and then I never hardly use it so really in all honesty I do prefer less expensive products I guess because I never ever reach for this and I thought that this would be a good time to use it so I'm just putting this into my crease and I'm going to swirl it around and mix it in with with the black that we put in there and what that's going to do is it's going to create like um as if it's going from a purple to a fuchsia. So it's just creating a gradient of color. Okay, so now that we've got the azalea on, the next thing we are going to do is go into our 88 shimmer palette and we're gonna choose that color right there which is like a purpley pink shimmer. And I'm just going to apply that like right at the very top of where the azalea is and kind of up a bit so it creates another bit of a gradient. And it also softens up the azalea because it's such a bright color. And in the 88 shimmer palette again, we're going to choose this color right here, which is a bit of a brighter pink. And we're just going like at the top part of that and up a bit. Just creating gradients of color. And now for our highlight, I'm going back into the 88 palette again. And I'm choosing this color right here. It's like a peachy pink. And with that, I am going just along my brow bone. I'm starting in the arch and then I'm sweeping it forward and back. I guess I did back and forward this time. The reason why I do that is so that the highest concentration of it is in the arch of my brow. 
Now for my eyeliner, I'm going to use Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the black, and I'm just going to apply that along my upper lashes. Then I'm just going to wing it out a bit in the outer corner. Then drag it back in. The reason why I drag it back in is so that the outer part of my eyelid, the eyeliner is thicker and it makes a natural progression into the wing. Although there's nothing natural about a wing, that's why I do it. And then I'm going to put this under my lid, under my lower lashes as well. And on my waterline, I'm just going to apply NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil with a brush. You can do your waterline without pulling on your lid. All you need to do for that, hold your mouth open so you don't blink. Okay, now for the glitter liner. What I'm using for that is actually two glitter mascaras. They're from Rimmel, they're the Lash Bling. So the first one I'm going to use is It Girl, which is the blue. And I'm just going to use an angled brush to apply that. How I do it is I dip the brush into the mascara, and then I take the angled brush and run it along the bristles of the mascara wand. And then we apply it over top of our eyeliner. And you're just applying it over top of the liner. And the next one I'm going to use is the Rimmel Lash Bling in Diva, which is the purple color. It's a pretty purple sparkles. And I'm going to do it the exact same way, and I'm just going to go everywhere. I just put that blue. For underneath the eye, I'm going to go back into the white from the Oraline Beauty. And I'm just going to go underneath the inner corner of my eye, so right in the tear duct area. And I'm going back into the Oraline Shimmer Palette, and I'm just going to choose this purple right here. And I'm going to go underneath the rest of my lower lashes with that. Now, underneath my lower lashes, I'm going to apply Annabelle Glitterama Eye Liquid Eyeliner in Violet Venus. And I'm just going to put that underneath the lower lashes just and for mascara I'm just going to apply prestige my blackest lashes and now for my cheeks I'm going to use Beauty from the Earth Sidonia I use this actually a lot where I put this is right underneath the cheekbone and I come in like this now if you have a, a wider face you're going to want to slant up and come down but with me, my, I have a very long, thin face, so I pretty much just come across and flick up where my cheekbone ends, just like this. But again, if you have a rounder face, you're going to want to come in on an angle. It's just, if you have a skinny face like me, you want it to appear wider, so this is how you're going to do it. And next, I'm going to use the Ben Nye Azalea Eyeshadow. Now, you're going to want to use a really light touch with this because it's very easy to become clown looking. And we're just going to swirl that right onto the cheekbone onto the apples, and we're going to try and mix it with our Sedonia just a little bit. And next, I'm going to use Beauty from the Earth's Doll Face Blush. It's such a beautiful uh, dolly pink. And I'm just going to apply that into the azalea and just slightly above for kind of like a highlight, but also to help subdue the azalea bit. Now for my lipstick, I'm just going to take a pink lip liner. I'm just going to very lightly trace the outside of my lips. And then I'm just going to fill my lips in with this color. Then I'm going to apply a bright pink lipstick. I'm going to be using Pink Power by L'Oreal. And I'm just going to draw over my lips with that. You can apply it with a brush, but I'm in a bit of a hurry today. And nobody uses this but me, so... And now I'm just going to go back into the Ben Nye Azalea. And I'm just pressing that into my lip color.
Unfortunately, now I have a bit of a kink in my bangs from having them um, pinned back. So this is our final look. I really hope you like it. Until next time, talk to you later.